I want you to talk about likability and the importance of likability in professional spaces. Or just, we can, we can make this relevant to the world at large, but I think when we're talking about likability for work, for business, from a PR perspective, um, I want you to break down likability and what it means to be likeable and why it matters or, or whether it even matters does it really matter i know in entertainment we have people who perform likeability right and so what ends up happening is we discover we hear rumors that all these people who we think who we thought of as likable on camera are not particularly likable behind the scenes and then you know that can tarnish the way we view them um but i get it from a pr perspective likability especially when it comes to entertainment likability sells being palatable and that's a term a business associate of mine used recently sells for the general population that's not to say people don't like a villain <laughs> people like people like and I think there's something that satisfies our, there's something inside of us as human beings. We like, you know, people who live out the parts of us that we can't live out in reality. So whether that's being mean or, you know, a salacious, you know, salacious gossiper or um, angry all the time and just being able to just to be like, oh, unfiltered. People like that. But... Um, when it comes to likability in terms of, you know, personal branding and uh, navigating spaces, how important is it? Is it more important to be liked or is it more important to be respected? Um, now, I'm, a, I'm more, I le you know, from a, from a PR perspective, again, let's go back to that. I get how likability wins. And in a corporate perspective, if we're talking about likability from a getting to know your colleagues perspective and having a pleasant working environment obviously that makes sense you don't want to be that person that nobody wants to talk to or nobody wants to like navigate or engage with in a meeting however we know that the value of likability in leadership actually isn't isn't that isn't isn't such a priority when we're talking about the value of likability versus respect because we know there's so many directors ceos leaders who aren't necessarily likable they're not concerned about whether people like them because they're not there to be liked what they're concerned about is getting the job done and getting it job getting the job done well and actually i think we can link this attachment to likability to niceness or the performance of niceness and I found that there are people who aren't necessarily likable. How do we even define likable? I'm wondering now. I'd really love to hear your thoughts on this. How do we define likable? Likeability to niceness. But actually, I've met people who aren't necessarily likable, but are kind, genuine, and they're authentic. They get the job done. They know, they know, they're trustworthy. Like, I can trust them. That's not even, that's not necessarily the case for the people who we can define as likeable. And how are we defining likability? Yeah, what does that mean? Because that can change depending on, on, on the environment that you're in, the, the culture, the spaces that you're in. Um, I, want to, I want to hear your thoughts, leave your thoughts in the comments on why likability matters, why it means so much to us, particularly in our work environments but even in business does it matter or is it more important to be respected personally i think it's more important to be respected with the caveat of don't be mean or offensive for the, for the sake of being mean and offensive <laughs> um but don't attach your value to being likable in such a way that it undermines your truth and who you really are your authenticity because people often figure you out, right? Okay, so leave your comments below. Thank you for tuning in. And let's have that conversation. Leave your comments below and let's talk. Let's, let's talk virtually. <laughs> Take care.